Compassion saves animals. But more specifically, empathy saves animals. Because empathy means that we feel the pain and suffering of another living being. And if you're looking for that in the Bible, unfortunately, it's not there. The, probably the verse that comes closest is uh, a proverb from uh, 1012 that says, A righteous man has regard for the life of his animal, but the compassions of the wicked are cruel. Now, they're saying that a person who's righteous cares about the animal, but if we are more than righteous, if we, if we seek the righteousness of God, the righteousness of Jesus, and his teachings, then we move into this heavenly will side, which includes compassion and empathy. You can't fully love, completely love, as we're supposed to love God, unless you also have unlimited compassion and empathy for the whole of God's creation. That's every other human being, every animal, and the environment we live in. And when we do, we're going to find, particularly if it comes from the church, we're going to find that we're going to save animals. Individually, if we have empathy, we'll save animals because we're not going to eat them. But to change this world, we need to get the churches involved. And we need to speak out. Just remember, empathy saves animals. Amen.